It was just laying on the floor? Yeah. How does that even happen? I don't know. It's almost like someone was hanging on it. Someone was hanging on the towel rack? Yeah. I don't know how it could have happened, but... I guess we're going to have to fix it. All right. We interrupt this regularly scheduled leather project to do a quick around the house repair, or what we like to call fixed. Apparently a towel rack has been ripped off of a hollow corridor. We don't know how that happened, but let me show you how we're gonna patch it up. I'm sure there's tons of us that have hollow corridors in our home. They work great for closing off a space, which is what they're intended to do, but unfortunately, one of the downsides is that when things get mounted to them, there's really not much structure in the door to hold any sort of a hook or a rack or anything like that. There is not a lot of structure to these doors. The whole interior is basically hollow, hence the name hollow core door. There's a few cardboard kind of structural things inside there, but other than that, there's only a couple of thin strips that run up and down the sides as well as the top and bottom. Other than the thin wood panels that they're covered with, there's really no structure for attaching things, and that's how we end up in this situation. To make this repair on my door, it's gonna be really easy. It's just a couple small screw holes that we're gonna patch up. You really don't even need to remove the door, but I'm gonna do that just because it's a little bit easier. I can get a little more access and kind of show you what I'm doing. This is gonna go really quick. The first thing I'd recommend is taking the door off if you feel like you need to. If you feel like you can fix it with it in place, don't worry about it. I'm gonna pull mine off. So here I've got my door removed for the repair. If you feel like you really need to remove your your door, just knock the pins out from the bottom, straight up out. Sometimes you have to get in there with a pair of pliers so that you can pull it up out of there, but don't worry, this thing is not really that heavy. Once you get the pins out, you can just take the door off of there and work on it where it's more convenient. The first thing that I'm gonna check before I make a repair, I'm just gonna use an awl. You could use a small screwdriver, toothpick, something like that, and just make sure that it does in fact go all the way through. There's nothing in there. I can feel that strip is right about here. So if the towel bar was probably an inch longer, half inch on either side, it probably would have been okay because it would have been into a little tiny bit of structure that these doors do have. Also looks like I'm gonna need to repaint. There's a couple of different colors of paint on there. It's been a while, I'm, I'm guessing. <laughs> We'll take care of that later. The reason I wanted to check that is because if this was in that wooden strip that runs down the side, then I could probably just drill this out, plug that hole with a dowel, then it's gonna be back into hardwood and I could just reattach the screws. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. But the strip of wood is just to the side of where these holes are pulled out. So I can't just glue a dowel in there to reattach it in the same location. What I'm going to have to do is basically plug this hole and then reattach the towel bar in a different spot using the correct anchor. This was not installed correctly. The screws were just run straight through the thin wooden skin, which gives it absolutely no strength. So if some mysterious person hangs on it, yeah, it's gonna rip it right out of there. <laughs> but that would never happen, would it? Now the reason that I'm already going to plan to relocate the towel bar, not reuse these same locations, is because we really can't get any good strength back in there once we fill in these holes. If we pack this thing full of wood putty, it's going to work, it's going to cover the hole, but if we try to put a screw back in there, it's going to basically knock all of the putty back out and of course the screw is going to just pull right back out, so it's not really going to give us any structure to it. We are going to use a combination of filling this hole with a dowel as well as a little bit of wood filler to make this a seamless repair. But I'm still not gonna reuse that location. Again, because it's so thin, even though we're going to glue wood in there, it's not really gonna provide enough strength and the chances of this failing again later are gonna be a little bit higher. And if I can avoid it, I just don't wanna have to do this again. So we're gonna fix this up and then when we, when we remount it, it's gonna be in a different spot. So let's fix it really quick. I'm gonna begin with some coarse grit sandpaper just to remove some splinters, rough the area up, and just make sure it's nice and clean as we begin the repair. To fill these holes, I found that some wooden barbecue skewers fit perfectly. Depending on the size of the hole in your door, you may need to find a small dowel or something else that will fit in the hole, but for me, a skewer was the perfect size. I just cut down a couple of really small pieces. There's really no need for this to go all the way through the hole, 
We're just using this as kind of a shallow plug. Some yellow wood glue will hold the little plug into place. I'm gonna tap them down about as flush as I can get. We don't wanna tap it all the way through the door. The thing I really like about making a repair this way is it's still wood. You're not just filling a hole full of some sort of material that could possibly shrink and dry up and fall out. At least there's wood plugging the hole. We're going to sand this off, top it with a little bit of filler just to make sure it's nice and smooth. But overall, the hole is plugged with wood. Anytime I can repair something with wood, I really like to try to do that, whether it's an application like this or fixing a stripped out screw hole with a toothpick. Something like that, I just like knowing that it's real wood in there. Doesn't matter if it's not the same kind of plywood stuff, but at least I know it's real wood. For me, I feel a little bit better knowing that at least I did what I could to try to keep whatever's made out of wood still made out of wood. I feel better about making that kind of repair anyway, so hopefully that makes sense. Once that glue's dry, I'm gonna sand the dowel and the glue nice and flush to the door. It's okay to sand with your fingers at this step. Any imperfections caused by pressure from your fingers is gonna be filled with wood filler in a minute. And now we're ready to use some wood filler and fill in the areas around the dowels. The filler that I'm using is made by Timbermate. I really like this stuff, it's water-based, but it kind of smells like Band-Aids. We're not gonna use a whole lot of filler, just enough to fill any imperfections in the area. Once the filler's dry, just gonna use some 220 grit sandpaper and sand it nice and flush. It's a good idea to use a sanding block because when you use your fingers, there's a chance you could get some uneven pressure and sand some grooves in there. If that works for you, it's okay, but I recommend a sanding block or one of these little sanding sponges, they work awesome. At this stage of the repair, the door's ready for some paint and to be hung back up. Unfortunately, right now, I don't have any paint, so I'm gonna just hang this back up temporarily. But, if you need to paint yours, now is the time to do it get it hung back up. I hope you guys found this helpful. My door is fixed for now. It's ready to go back into use. One thing to keep in mind, when I reinstall the towel rack, I'm going to use some anchors. Very, very important. Again, still, they're not meant to be hung off of. <laughs> make sure you tell the kids that. But the anchors will make it a little bit more solid than just driving some screws into like an eighth inch or less of really thin, flimsy plywood. So definitely use some anchors, but if you can at all avoid attaching anything to a holler core door, it's gonna extend the life of the door for sure. Don't stress over it if you need to make a quick repair like this. Again, there's a bunch of different ways to do it, but I like to try to fix it with solid wood if I can. If this hole was more than just a couple screw holes, I would consider replacing the door. These aren't all that expensive, but I have seen people successfully patch these things up using spray foam and stuff like that to jam in the hole and then you cover over it. That sort of thing would work if you really need to patch it up instead of replace it. But again, like I said, these are so inexpensive. It might be cheaper just to replace the door. That's for you to decide, not me, but for this sort of repair, I will do this all day long before I replace this door. Really quick, really simple. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time. Uh...